our channel. So today we're going to show you guys how we are packing for our first family vacation. First international flight for both of our kids. I have a four-year-old daughter named Mackenzie and a five-month-old son named Cruz. If you guys haven't seen our last vlog, we were shopping for our family vacation. So we are going to Jamaica. Me and my husband have already been there last summer and it was amazing so we just had to go back and we're so excited to bring the kids with us now at first i was kind of like stressed out I'm like oh my gosh how are we going to pack for our kids for ourselves and i don't want to overpack like we're gonna have extra bags with us kids with us so i'm trying to pack as light as possible so i'm going to show you guys everything that's in each of our suitcases and our carry-on bag so my daughter has her own suitcase and this will actually be a carry-on we're not going to check this in and we're going to put all of her clothes in this and maybe some toys this is just an lol suitcase that we had got from target it's pretty small and decent. Her clothes are pretty small anyway. All I'm bringing are these flip flops, some gold sandals, white sandals, and some swim shoes. Gold and white go with everything, so these are the only sandals she needs to go with her outfits. She wants to bring her baby, of course. Then I got these cool floaties from Walmart. You know, it's after summer, so it was only 10 cents. This is what we got her as a gift when we went to Jamaica last year, so she wants to bring it this year. I only got two sets of pajamas. We're gonna be there for four nights two pajamas should be enough these are going home outfits so since it is winter well fall but it feels like winter you know what I mean so I have to pack long sleeve clothes just for when we come back and then I have an extra outfit that I'm going to put on my carry-on just in case any accidents happen on the way I already have her outfit for when we are going to the airport you know on our way to Jamaica and then this is gonna be the backup outfit that I'm gonna have in my carry-on I like to stay organized as much as possible so these are like three sections here so this section right here is all dinner outfits these are all her bathing suits plus some hats and some cover-ups these are just outfits for like lunchtime or she just wants to put it on top of her bathing suit honestly feel like we're just gonna be on the beach in the pool all day so I feel like she's mostly gonna just stay in her bathing suit but you know when we do want to change she has these backup clothes and I probably have about like five outfits here I feel like it's a pretty short vacation so I don't have to bring too too much but this is basically everything that will be going into this bag now if you guys seen our last vlog a shopping for Jamaica we bought these storage saver bag from TJ Maxx I'm going to put all the clothes in here then you zip lock it and then you just push out the air so it can be nice and flat so it can save a lot of space for when I put it inside her luggage so this is how it looks makes it nice and clean you don't have to worry about any like traveling smell it, like smells like airport or it just smells like an airplane and I don't know to me it just doesn't smell too good so these storage bags this is our first time using it but I really feel like it's gonna you know keep our natural laundry detergent scent in here since it's nicely enclosed don't have to worry about it getting wet or dirty or anything like through the luggage so this helps protect it and plus it saves so much space and there you go bam so I really like these things because it came with four in a box. So Mackenzie has one, Cruz has one, I have one, and Darius has one. And what I like about it is that when I get to Jamaica, I can just take out this big Ziploc, claim the drawers that are in there at the resort, and each person will have their own drawer. I can just take it all out so I don't have to worry about like, oh, where's this piece go to? Or just Cruz and it's like all mixed up and stuff like that. So this keeps it all together and I know this is all of hers. Another thing I like about this is that I don't have to worry about putting her dirty shoes on top of it so it won't dirty her clothes so I can just put her shoes right here now for my five-month-old is definitely a lot more than my four-year-old because of spit-ups blowouts I just need to be prepared while I'm there so the resort provides cribs so I'm bringing a fitted sheet for that crib I got three washcloths 
and two other like receiving blankets just in case i'm not bringing any towels because the resort will have towels i just like to bring my own washcloths for him i'm sure these are gonna be softer i'm bringing four pairs of shoes not like he walks or anything but you know they'll look cute with his outfits i'm bringing one pair of sneakers mackenzie has a pair of sneakers too that she'll be wearing on the plane so only one pair of sneakers and the rest for her are sandals i'm bringing eight bibs two burping cloths i'll have more in my carry-on i'm bringing three pajamas i'm bringing these cute little hats he has five bathing suits just like mackenzie and then these are the swim diapers i'm calculating like two a day maybe but i also have this i found this at walmart it was only a dollar since you know it's after summer and it's one of those like reusable swim diapers and i know it's girly but whatever it was a dollar and He's, it's gonna be covered with his swimming trunks anyway, but I don't know I don't think he's supposed to put it in the dryer and it looks really tiny But I'm gonna just bring it just in case but I have the disposable ones anyway Then I got these hats to protect his head from the Sun. So I got three of those these are all his dinner outfits and then these are just like lunch outfits or just to throw on him if he's to not have him in his bathing suit all day. I have about eight outfits and I know that's a lot, but I need to be prepared. I'm also bringing these nets that you can put over the stroller or a playpen. I don't know how the mosquitoes are there, but just so he don't get bit up. So I'm just bringing this just in case. And then this pile here is when we come back home from Jamaica. So I have three outfits here. These are long sleeves, long pants for coming back home. I'm bringing two burp cloths and two bibs. Going to Jamaica, I already have his outfit picked out and ready for, to go into the airport. And I have this, which is a short sleeve shirt. So just in case when we get there and it's like extremely hot, I can just change his onesie and put a short sleeve one on. And that's the same with Mackenzie. She has a tank top that's gonna be under her long sleeve shirt. So when we get there and if it's too hot, she's just gonna take it off and she could just have a tank top on. Then I also have like the other backup outfits just in case. I'm bringing two burp cloths and two bibs and this will be in my carry-on now i will put all of this all of cruz's stuff inside the ziploc again and all of his stuff is actually going to be in our big luggage So this is the suitcase that me, Darius, and Cruz will be using. I got this from TJ Maxx, which was also shown in our Shopping for Jamaica vlog. This is how it looks inside. It's really big, it's hard. It has the cool 360 wheels for easy pushing. And one thing I really like about this is that it has this space here and you can zip it up. And it has another pocket here. And then this is where we put like our clothes and stuff at. And also has this small pocket here. I don't know what exactly we're gonna put in there, but I like that it has all these options. So what I'm gonna put here are all of our shoes, my sandals, I'm not bringing that many. I'm only bringing brown, black, white. And I'm gonna be wearing my sneakers on the airplane, so that'll be my only sneakers that I'll be bringing. And then some flip-flops for the pool slash beach. Darius bringing just a white pair and a black pair. And whatever sneakers he's gonna be wearing on the plane. And then, since I still have space here, I'm going to put Cruz's little tiny shoes in here too. This is Darius's pile, so he has it organized as well as like I did with the kids. This is all of Darius stuff. He had, we had some trouble closing everything because men's clothing are bigger than babies and women's clothing. A pack of diapers, I don't know how much I'm gonna need, but I just brought the whole pack right here. Then we could flip this. These are my clothes. I did the same deal, categorized it. We had to rearrange everything again, just so everything could be nice and flat. So we put Cruz's stuff over here on the side with the zipper, the diapers. We put the shoes over here, pack of wipes, and we'll zip this up. This is my stuff, their stuff. You see how nicely organized it is? Like it's not closed all over the place. I don't have to worry about things shifting or anything like that because everything is nicely concealed into these bags. We have a space right here. We have two bags of these that came in the pack that we got from TJ Maxx. We might use this for like, you know, underwear and socks and we're just gonna put that right here in this corner this set came with a pack of six came with three of these mesh ones and then 
three of these closed ones. And these are like water resistant bags. They have pictures for like shoes and stuff like that. But this is actually where I'm gonna put the toiletries at. So this is just some of the stuff that I packed so far. I got insect repellent, sunscreen spray for the kids. I got some dish soap because I will be bringing my pump and bottles and stuff like that. And I'll probably put this bag in here with in this little zipper here but we're hoping that this is 50 pounds or less but if it's not if it's over 50 pounds we'll probably just take out the shoes and put them in a backpack that Darius is gonna bring as a carry-on now this is my carry-on i got this cute bag from target this was only 40 dollars. it's so big and so cute so i love this bag because this will be like my future we can travel bag or just like i said my carry-on and it's super super deep so some of the things that i'm going to have in here this is another of the bag that came with the pack so in here i have an extra t-shirt for myself just in case crew spits up on me or any accident so i have an extra t-shirt for myself this is where I have the two extra outfits for Cruz, one extra outfit for Kenzie, two bibs, two burp cloths, and I have about like seven diapers in here. I feel like this should be good for our entire flight, our layovers and everything like that. What I really love about these cases like this is that not only do I feel more organized, since this bag is really deep, I don't have to worry about like shuffling through everything and everything is just in here. This bag, I'm actually gonna use to put Cruz's toys in here, like teething toys, rattles, anything to keep him occupied during the flight. This other bag in here I have, these are little plastic baggies, so if he does have a blow, I can just put his dirty clothes in here or put the diaper in here so they won't smell. I really recommend these. I got this cute little first aid kit. It just has like some band-aids. I got this from Walmart. Kleenex, hand sanitizer, another hand sanitizer, <laughs> wet ones, and some Clorox disinfecting wipes as well. This is necessary for when you go on flights because in between flights, the flight attendants don't really have time to wipe off all the tables and everything like that. So I like to disinfect everything once I get on the plane. I guess I'm a little germaphobe, but hey, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Another thing in here is this princess sticker face. I showed this in my last vlog as well. We got this from Walmart. This will keep Mackenzie occupied because she loves stickers, she loves princesses. So it's really cool, it has like blank faces on here. And then in the front, it has all the stickers so she can put the eyes, lips, crowns, eyebrows, every single detail, which is pretty cool. So I'm sure she will love this. I also have my breastfeeding cover here in case I decide to pump on the flight. And I'm also probably gonna put my pump stuff into this bag as well. I just haven't packed that yet. The main thing in here are snacks. Mackenzie is a huge snacker as well as Darius. Airport food is so expensive, so this is why I'm packing my own snacks and have it nicely organized. So this is a pack that says going home. This is for Mackenzie. So I already have all her snacks in here, all her favorites. And it's a lot in here because I'm telling you, she can eat dinner and she'll be like, I want a snack. Like, she's always hungry, or always want a snack. And in her little backpack, she has one that says going to Jamaica, which I will show you. And then this is extra, which means this is me and Darius's food, or we also going with our close friends. So if they want any snacks, they can have some too. And I'll be adding in here Cruz's changing pad, wipes, as well as any medicine. Since this is our first international trip, I'll be bringing like Tylenol, Benadryl, Tum, anti-diarrhea medicine, anything like that because I don't know how, you know, the food is going to affect the kid's stomach as well as mine. This is the backpack that Kenzie will be bringing, so she'll be carrying this. I told her she could bring some toys. I put them all in Ziplocs, and I was like, these are all the only toys that you're bringing. So you see, going to Jamaica. A lot of these snacks I just got from the Dollar Tree or Walmart. So I got these, got some goldfish, Scooby-Doo graham cracker sticks. She loves these Nutella breadsticks. A pack of Oreos, Cheez-Its, granola bar, Nature Valley oatmeal bar, chocolate rice crispy treat. And I told her if she's good throughout the entire flight and the entire layover and everything, like once we get to Jamaica, she will be prized with a ring pop. I don't like giving her candy that much, so this is a big deal to her. If she's good, then this is her grand prize. Definitely check out your Dollar Tree because a lot of this stuff, such as like the Cheez-Its, 
and the Oreos and Scooby-Doo snacks. They were like a box of four for just a dollar. So that helped out to have enough for her going there, coming home, and have some for ourselves as well. And basically all these snacks are in the same thing as the going home pack. Other things in her backpack are also things from Dollar Tree. She chose these frozen nail stickers, this little coloring pad, and it has stickers in there too, glitter crayons. And then she chose this two Crayola dough, so I'm guessing this is just like Play-Doh and an egg. So this is everything that will be in her backpack. It seems like a lot, but I fold it down really nicely and it closes. So that pretty much sums up everything that we're packing. We might have to add some last minute things. Packing is such a hassle sometimes, especially when you're packing for more than one person. So I hope this video gave you some idea on what to pack on your travels with your family. One tip I really recommend is to pack at least two weeks beforehand just so it won't be so stressful on you because if you wait till the last minute and then you gotta do laundry and then you got all these kids running around and stuff like that, it's gonna get stressful so please just plan ahead if you have any recommendations on something that i forgot or that is necessary with traveling with kids please leave a comment down below give this video a thumbs up if it helped you make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the bell button right next to it so you can get notified whenever we drop a new video and i'll see you guys next time